y'all, it's Tabitha from Flapjack, and today I want to share with you about how you can make your own QR codes to use in your educational resources. I love QR codes, use them all the time, it's really easy, and I think before you actually try to do it, you're like, oh my goodness, what is that? But once you do it, it's just so easy. So when you go to Google, you need to obviously find a website that will do this for you, and I just put in QR code generator and for now the first one that always pops up that seems to be most popular is curestuff.com and I'll put that down the link in the description box of course I'm having internet problems so lovely okay so here's the website and it automatically opens up where you would do a website QR code like for example I had to um, make some promo cards for my store so I wanted to have a QR code where people could scan and be directed to my store on their phone so what you would do is just go to website whichever one you want and you're gonna copy that URL put it in there this would be great for a class blog to give to your parents so that they can automatically get access to your blog or whatever. So here you have your QR code preview. Now I would suggest right here they give you um, an option to shorten this URL and you want to do that because I don't know if you saw the difference. Let's see if here it is when it's not shortened. It has a lot going on. This is like a language and here you have a lot a lot of language going on which makes it harder to read and to scan so a simpler um, QR code is going to scan better so you want to shorten that URL and then you just download it it'll pop open this box you save it and then you find wherever it saved it and it saves it as an image file so if you're familiar with that I believe it's PNG that saves it as you just would insert it into Word or PowerPoint as a picture or an image or whatever. If you use this website and you just want to do plain text, let's say you're doing some question and answer activities, it's kind of weird here. You have to go past all of these options to plain text and then you just put in what you want. And if it's short, like I just have right there, you don't need to shorten it, but... Um, there you go. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you a trick that I like to use because this website, when you want to just like copy it so you can just paste it into PowerPoint, it won't let you do that. It will make, make you go through the process of downloading. And the problem with when you download your QR code is it's just going to sign it this number name that is super long and you're going to have to go in and change it, you know, maybe to, let's say, you're going to have to change it to hello if that's what your QR code is. Because if not, when you go to pull it up into your program, you're not going to know which QR code is which because they all just have different numbers. You're going to have to scan them. It's just going to be a mess. So I don't like that about this website. So I actually go to, and I'll put this in the description box, the slash QR code slash, is that a slash or a dash? I don't know. Generator.com because these guys make it easier for me. So um, let's say I'm just gonna put hello again, okay? And what you can actually do here is, what you can do here is view image. You can't copy it, it still doesn't let you, but when you go to view image, here you can copy it. Now I'm gonna open up um, something I'm working on, some little task cards, and here I can just go right click paste and there it is okay and obviously that size is a little big so I just double click on that I would suggest don't ever go below like 0.75 three quarters of an inch is really pushing it one inch is optimum and that's good enough when you start decreasing the size of your QR code is just going to make it more difficult to scan and if you're laminating your resources the glare from the light when your students scan can also be a problem so the bigger the better but I'm just going to change that to one inch and I stick it in there and I'm ready to go 
So that's how I do it. If you do decide to like save your QR codes as images, you would just need to go to insert photo picture from file and then you would need to find it wherever it is and then it will just insert like a picture would and you do whatever you need to with it. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions about QR codes, please let me know. I'd love to help and answer if I know the answer to it. I appreciate you being here on my channel. I hope that you'll subscribe for more teacher tech tip videos like this one. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye-bye.